Bingo. in the Midwest. I'm going out in the middle of nowhere. God. Back in here anywhere. Where do you want it? Driveway. Okay.
morning, everybody. We're waking up this morning in St. Joseph, Missouri. We are pushing further west. We've got a five hour push west to get to these cab over trucks today. I bought five Ford cab overs, all 37 of 42 off one guy. We were gonna send them all home on a tractor trailer. I decided not to do that. It was gonna be way too much work. So I got uh, one of our regular shippers meeting us there. He's gonna take two, I'm gonna take one, and we're gonna prep the other two so they can just be winched up and hauled by anybody. Hopefully I get them home this week anyways. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna see what we find on the way there in this five hour ride, get out there, get some work done, get these things loaded, get them picked up off the ground. I really don't have that much of an idea of uh, where they're at on the farm, if they roll, if they steer or whatever. I saw like broad shots of these things. So we're gonna get into it. I've been dealing with that dude forever, for a decade. I've been we'll just we'll just do this inside real quick. It's Chick Fil A's. Oh really? Yeah. A very busy day, but we have priorities, and this happens to be one of them today. Breakfast burritos, chicken minis. Shane, the cameraman's first Chick Fil A breakfast. Go get some diesel. Good. All right, so we're 10 minutes out. I really don't know what to expect. So well, looking around out here, there's no shortage of space and this guy's telling me that it's tight. He wanted us to ride down with him and I'm like, no, I'll just, it'll be okay. I'll not ride with you. We'll take the truck and trailer in there. Uh, I just don't understand how it can be tight, but we'll see. He's talking about moving a fence and stuff to get these cab over trucks out. I'm like I eyebrow raising them, but uh, we'll see nine minutes away from meeting him and then I don't know where the trucks are it was a, it's a follow me type situation right now so let's see what we got yeah I see you right behind you okay cool. Turn, okay turn left here okay
what's up YouTube we're here in Indianola Nebraska with these five cab over trucks that I bought it's super hot but it's beautiful weather and there's no bugs here's the first one here this is gonna be around a 41 could be 41 46 missing the original vertical bar grills in it but still really nice super solid truck flathead v8s in it and the motor turns so really really like that truck this is another one here this one i have to check the serial number uh with the grill missing i'm not sure what year it is this one here totally dressed flathead v8s in it this one motor also turns i'm going to be working on getting these beds off of this thing here momentarily uh, try and trim the fat lighten the load up a little bit make it a little prettier to be shipped to walk over here we're in this beautiful pasture out here it's a little bit hot but it's it's dry this is very low humidity it's nothing like 90 i think it's what 90 it's probably 90 yeah. 93 but it's i'm not sweaty this is going to be the nicest one here this is a 41 ford cab over flathead v8 fully dressed really really pretty truck I'm really excited about that one this one rolls steers that's easy to get home this is kind of the runt extra 40 1940 oval grill it's got the trim and the emblem on it that's a super rare piece there that'll be going home with us but this is the runt this is the one that we're gonna take home I don't know if I'm gonna cut the frame on it or not missing a motor missing a grill I'm not gonna put that grill on this truck I don't know what we're going to do with this one yet. I'm, we're taking this one with us because it's the hardest one to ship and it's really easy for me to ship with the tilt deck. So we're going to load it up as is. At some point in this trip, I may cut this frame. We may be dropping this section off at a local scrapyard. I don't know. Um, we're just going to take it for now. Worst case, I can stack a couple pickup cabs on here or something like that. I don't know. But if I find a pickup, I have enough trailer with that 22 foot or two wedge this all the way tight against the toolbox and still get a pickup truck behind it even on this 22 so we may do that i don't know i hate to cut a frame because i can get wheels on these and then they roll and steer because you guys know us we're not going to leave this thing looking like that this will be looking like a complete truck here once we get back home so i'm going to try not to cut it this is the last one over here this one's got a little bit of cancer in it but there's actually a guy making cab corners through these now. So this one here needs a cab corner. It's not a very ornate cab corner anyway. It's a pretty simple cab corner. There's a guy, I think the name of his company is called Bitchin' Parts. And he makes corners for these. This one's also missing a grill. Flathead V8's in it. I have, I think, two extra grill shells at home, so I'm not super worried about it. Uh, but other than that, it's complete. Just needs two cab corners on this one, but that's not terrible. So something else we'll do today is knock off a lot of this extra old farm wood if we can. I just don't want it to be a burden for the shippers. They tend to complain about that kind of thing. So we got the whizzer and that kind of deal with us. We'll be kind of nip tucking here for a little while while we're waiting on the shipper. That's the next ordeal is try and get the shipper in here. We obviously have a ton of space to load. We got this big beautiful pasture, but the cattle gate getting in here is a little bit tight. I winged it right in here, no problem. I'm hoping Robbie can too. He has a triple axle 36 foot bumper pull. If anybody's gonna get in here, it's him. He's probably got two million miles on that model trailer. He's had three or four of them. So um, we're gonna try that first. If not, we'll use the tilt deck to play a little musical trucks here and get them out to him. So stay tuned, should be fun. We're gonna have some awesome drone footage here and uh, get this whole job all cleaned up. I got a jockey too, regardless, down into town so they can get shot
just if I don't overdo it. Ooh, it's almost my wrist. Spin that other way. Up, up, okay. Trying to get these beds off of this truck because they're dead weight. Let's see if, how this works. Taking a whole thing. Evidently, something's really still holding on. Besides just your weight of it. That was fun though. That was a fun little ride. We're so close. It's this big <laughs> chunk of steel hooked in there. Out so right here, yes. If I jack it up over on that side, we should be going. Cool. He's good, he's good.
in one side. It's going to make it a lot easier to steer even with air in one side. So we need maximum airflow here. The other side has no hope of air now. either of them do. This thing will go ahead and steer now that we busted it free. Come in just a little bit.
we got two loaded, two headed back to Pittsburgh. Now I gotta move the other two that I'm shipping down the road out of this pasture where we can get them onto a truck and trailer easy. And then we're gonna come back and load up the runt. And by that time, it's gonna be supper time and time for a hotel. a boogie out of this little pack. Go bus. Struggle bus. Okay. Binder is cameraman? No. Wireless chains and binders.
yeah, Morse, M-O-R-S-E, Morse metal blades. Yeah, I want to get this thing set up on the trailer so that I can, we can cut it down if I find a nice pickup truck. All right, last one. That was a good day. So this is, this is the showpiece here, not the truck, this right here. This is as rare as it gets. This is 40th anniversary grill. So the oval grill in general was big dollar, highly sought after. As far as Ford cab overs go, there's only one more rare than this and it's so rare, it's not even desirable because it can't be had. I've never seen one in the wild, never seen one for sale. That would be like a, a early 30s, like a 32, 34, 34 Ford cab over. They don't exist, but this here's 37, 8, 9, 40 oval grill this varied a little bit this particular grill here is a 40 and this for me as good as it gets so being uh, that I got one of these grills with this deal is huge I now have three of these grills in my possession which is crazy to even think about um, so but anyways that's my little bit about this grill we will be pounding this grill straight and uh, throwing it on one of these trucks, one of the better ones that just left. So, and then somebody will have themselves a, uh, a 40 cab over. And I'm gonna try, if anybody has any of these cab over grill shells, I'm missing two from this deal. I don't care if it's an oval or if it's a vertical bar grill, that would be fine. I don't care where the grill's at, I don't care where you're located. If you have one for sale, I'm happy to pay fair money for it. Let me know. Drop it in the comments or hit me up 412-335-6100. You'd be doing us a big favor. It's not going to be a wall hanger. It's going to go on somebody's truck and make them a nice complete project because they, they are hard to come by. So if you got one hanging on the wall of your barn, please give me a call. Alright, let's see if we can't get this thing loaded up. <laughs> touching the rims but you're underneath it I don't think this is gonna give me enough leverage but it might who knows Chains just don't come on, come undone. It's gonna be super easy to change.
process. It was hot. It was sweaty. But honestly, it knocked it out of the park. And uh, I'm really happy I just decided to hip shot this instead of... Um, I had like a tractor trailer coming out here and a guy with a skid loader and we didn't need any of that. So just goes to show following my gut and laying my own eyes on it first before I did anything ended up being the right move and uh, that's it. I'm real happy with the deal, I'm real happy with the trucks, happy with what I paid, happy with the weather. We're super far from home but we're getting some good stuff and um, I'm hoping that we find a bunch of good stuff. The neighbor down here has a ton of smalls which would be really awesome if I could get some smalls on this trip. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it or not. I knocked on the guy's door once. I'm going to do it one more time on the way out. If he doesn't answer, we're probably going to just regroup in the truck for a minute and um, figure out how far we're going tonight. If we're just going to go down the road and stay at the Holiday Inn or if we're going to uh, start heading somewhere tonight. So we'll see. But stay tuned because we got a lot more stuff coming. I don't know if it's going to be in this video or if it's going to be in another video, but we got a whole lot more ground to cover while we're out here in the, uh, I don't even know if this is the Midwest. I'm going to call this the West. We're in Western Nebraska heading towards Colorado getting into mountain time. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video. Now for all you that say I don't do anything, I'm doing a lot today. I feel very, very uh, accomplished and, and sweaty and uh, Bill ain't the only one busting it. I know how to do stuff. Airport Luma. That's a Studebaker, I think. Nope, Checker. Checker made a lot of uh, commercial people movers. So I don't think this is his property. Nope. <laughs> yeah, Checker made uh, taxi cabs and airport limousines. That's what this was. Airport shuttle. I almost bought one of those and out here. Well, south of here in Kansas, as at an auction in Garden City, I almost bought one of them. Torpedo back. That's a good car. Not in that condition. Got some bullet holes. There might be a sign or a gas pump out here. So we can keep our eyes open for that. There's some cool stuff back in there, but. Cool. Uh, you wouldn't believe I actually needed this a couple years ago. So that's an antique garbage packer body. I had a movie company after me big time to find them that for a movie they were shooting in Pittsburgh, Denzel Washington. They needed an antique garbage truck. They couldn't find one anywhere. And here it is. Packer body. I've never seen one in person like besides a you know, photo. That's pretty awesome. That thing actually has some value if you need it for something like that. There's a hood right there. Yeah, it goes with this truck. I wouldn't separate the two. That's a big wrecker arm. Yeah. Full truck. 
We had one of those before. That's a big boy GMC. That looks like a pickup from afar. I don't know what that is. I don't think it's a 640. It's something else. It's a complete truck here. I wouldn't even want to buy any of the parts because it's all there. I don't know what series that is. We can kind of see that from the road. Man, I was hoping we were going to find all kinds of signs laying in the dirt. I had seen one. Not even a not even a glimmer of hope of a of a porcelain sign. He sounded so sure that like I was gonna run into that out here. I like that school bus. Yeah, it's an interesting school bus. It's an international. And there's that too. Must be a big train coming through here. There's a Volkswagen bug back there. Not for sure. Well, I'm going to check this one scrap pile up by the road. There's one artillery wheel in there. It was a narrow one. But, let's sneak this one. Probably is a damn shiner gas pump up in here. It's just buried. He was the junk man himself. It's shot anyways. It's all pitted. It ain't even worth taking. You can't mount a rim on it. It's too gone. It's the wall hanger and strap. All right, to supper we go. Strike. Got a good spot we're going to tomorrow. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that YouTube video. Where I'm going tomorrow. It's a real good buddy of mine. He doesn't trade, he doesn't sell, he just buys. And uh, I've been dealing with him for long enough, I think I can get him to sell me something. So, I was able to do a trade with him this year. So, it was really in his collection, collecting favor though. I, I traded him two cars, two of them early Fords I had. I gave him the two cars for bringing me two Mustangs that were close to his house. So. But still, he has a ton of stuff. He's probably got 350, 400 cars, trucks. He's got signs, pumps, I think. I don't know if we'll be able to get him to come off of anything, but it'll be fun anyways. I know I can get a truck out of him. So. We might try and go ahead and put a truck on that trailer with that cab over. The key to that is making sure we got enough tongue weight. We absolutely cannot haul a pickup if it doesn't have a motor in it. So this is a cool spot, lots of stuff here, nothing for us. I'm going to go thank Paul here for letting us walk around, and we're going to go get some supper. Hey, thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have cars like these in your garage, 
If you have a fastback Mustang or convertible Impala, a nice original paint pickup truck or an old cab over truck, and you want to sell it, I'd love to try and put a deal together with you. You can get a hold of me at 412-335-6100. We pay excellent prices. We pay finder's fees. You know, it's no secret. We do make a little money on a YouTube video, so that allows me to pay, you know, sometimes market value or really good prices for these cars. We'd love to come out and drag it out of your barn. We'd love to film it. We'd love for you to be a part of that whole process. So if you have an original paint or an original old fastback Mustang that needs work like these ones I have on my trailer, or if you have an old pickup or again, a convertible Impala cab over truck, whether it doesn't matter where you are, we buy nationwide here in the United States, all the way as far as California. I've had stuff, New Mexico, Arizona, Oregon, Washington, high desert stuff we love. So, or if you're in the East coast and it's a rusty Mustang or a rusty convertible Impala, that is fine. We typically don't buy many trucks on the East coast, but I buy a lot of cars on the East coast. If you've cab over parts also, especially for these early Fords, I'd be interested in that. And it never hurts to send me an email or a text, ironcitygarage at gmail.com. You're welcome to send me an email or a text message, probably the best. You kind of get an instant answer that way. 412-335-6100. I'd love to talk to you. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully we can make a deal on what you guys have on your farms or in your garages. 